that's actually working pretty well now I'm very happy with it what I've done is uh, switch the GPS to one with a compass that means the return to home and the direction is going to be working a lot better um, that actually returned to home properly you have to drop the throttle and it'll uh, land pretty close to where it took off from I'll try that again see how accurate we can be you do have to sort of take your time when you're switching between a tricopter uh, straight through to wing you have to sort of pause and let the transition take effect let the, the motors tilt forward gain a bit of speed otherwise it'll just do a backflip because the rear motor will stop and the front motors will still be pointing up uh, and I'll show you a few of those videos um, I've had quite a few crashes had to go searching in the long grass but and eventually I'll do a, a video about how to set it up and everything uh, I'm not absolutely sure yet I just followed other people's instructions and here we are anyway let's go for another flight all right here we go it's all working pretty well I'll uh, take off vertically transition fly around a little bit in angle and acro finally flying pretty well after a few fun adventures should do position hold all right let's try position hold cool so that works nicely angle mode transition bit of forward speed wing and we're flying in angle mode. Let's go to acro, a bit more control. Yeah, we're going well. Much more efficient in wing mode, of course. Only drawing, well, oh, I can drop it down to four amps or so. So we'll just fly around a little bit. Let's try flying in oh no, angle mode, I want. See how my board pitch trim's going. It's pretty good. Drifting a bit to the left a bit, I think, but not worried about that. All right. Transition mode. VTOL mode. Return to launch. Preparing to land. I wonder if it does land. Oh, yeah, it's descending now. Got to put the throttle down. That's cool. Oh, this is working well. A little bit off. Oops, something happened there. Thank you. 